In this video, we're going to deploy an embeddings model using Amazon SageMaker. Now, why are we deploying it through Amazon SageMaker? The reason why we're deploying it is because we want to retrieve better information using an embeddings model. And this is the cheapest way that you can actually deploy the, what I, for what I found for open source models. And not only that, it is auto scalable, so you don't have to worry about scalability. Not only that, you can implement it without having specialized DevOps or MLOps engineers. And of course, at the end, you get to improve your rack pipelines for the retrieval aspect. Now, this deployment will be broken down into six different steps. We're gonna set up our AWS, download the model and data, prepare the data set. We're going to train an embeddings model with our data and with them, and then we can deploy and make inferences on it. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. To get started, the first thing is we'll have to do is sign up to AWS. After that, you will have to search Amazon Web Service. Sorry, not Amazon Web Service, but Amazon SageMaker over here. Now, once you've done that, you will present it with a dashboard like this. Well, actually, maybe somewhere along the lines of this, if I'm not wrong. But all you guys have to do is go to notebooks over here and we're going to start a new notebook instance. Once we click that, we're going to find notebook instance name, instance type, and so forth. You can choose, I believe if I'm not wrong, we can choose any notebook instance that we want. So just cheap, just choose a very cheap one. We're going to use MLT3 medium. We're going to keep the different things over here, default. And then we're going to create a notebook instance. Of course, you have to write down the name of the instance or notebook that you want. We can name it deploy. And now it is being created. And before you start training and deploying the model, make sure you have access to these two instances. These are the MLG5X large and MLC6I2X large for instance inference. And you will have to request access to those from the support that Amazon has. For me, it took around a few weeks to get it done. So make sure you guys have done that using their service coders in AWS console. Now the instance has been created. So we're going to open the Jupyter instance. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new notebook. We're going to use Python 3. Now what we're going to do is we are going to install the packages. So download the model and data and then start preparing the data set. Now before we do that, we have to start to install the packages that we need for our various stuff. So we're going to pip install transformers, data sets, SageMaker and Hugging Face Hub. We install that. Once we've done that, we have to download two different scripts from Hugging Face. So Hugging Face has various notebooks and different scripts that you can use for your deployment. One of them is Run MNR, which is a training script for our, for our embeddings model, and also the requirements package for us to be able to train our model or fine tune our model. So let's download that into our local machine. And to do that, I've provided a, a wget script to download the script into a folder. So we're gonna run that. So now it got downloaded. And we're also gonna download the script that we will be using later on. And you can actually find that in our folder that we've created scripts, requirements, and the run MNR training script. Now we can actually start to prepare our data set. Now, before we do that, we have to do some AWS configurations, some pretty standard stuff. We have to import SageMaker and Botra3, and then we're gonna create a SageMaker session. And then we have to assign a bucket. A bucket is simply a storage or S3 storage, famous S3 st storage from AWS, where you store your models, your data side, and many other things. And then we're going to have a try accept for our IAM roles and stuff. And to be honest, I don't know much about this try accept stuff, but these are things that you need to have. We're going to assign the bucket to our session so that it knows which bucket or storage to use for our models and stuff, and some print statement logging. And now we run that. Now, this is configured for the SageMaker data storage and different IAM roles. Once we've done that, we're going to load our data set. Finally, we can load the data set. We're going to be using a RAG embedding data set, which is, if I'm not wrong, a triplet data set for finding or retrieving the correct passages for a query. And we're going to put it onto the S3 bucket or save it into the S3 bucket. We're going to rename the columns for our training script, adding an ID column, taking a test size or test split, and saving the data to the S3 bucket. Once we've done that, we're going to print out some stuff so we know it is working as expected. And there we have it. Now we get to train our model. So we're going to import our SageMaker Hugging Face package. So this is special Hugging Face import from SageMaker. We're going to define the training job name, pass in the hyperparameters that we need. We are going to be using a BGE base model, which is a very strong embeddings model. We have to define some environment information. So which type of instances that we need to use. So for example, we're going to be using a MOG5X large, as I mentioned, 
By the way, I'm going to break down the cost at the end of the video. We're going to talk about, and then we have to define the source directory. This directory is where you have stored your run MNR, Python trading script, and also the requirements package. And if you guys remember, we've created a folder over here, script, where we save the these two different scripts over here. And we should define that in our estimator. We tell which transfer version we are using, PyTorch, hyperparameters that we defined over here, and a few other things. Once we've done that, we can run that. We're going to define the data input. So where is the data coming from? And now finally, we get to start to run our training. So fingers crossed, hopefully nothing will go wrong. By the way, the code for this whole notebook will be provided in the data society. This is the guide on how to deploy embeddings model using AWS. We talk about different things on how to set things up. And not only that, we also have other different guides that are available. So if you guys are interested, please feel free to check it out. Now the model has been finally done training. It took around eight minutes to complete the training job. And now what we'll have to do is we're going to deploy this model. So now we're going to implode the get hug and face LLM image URI. This will retrieve the image URI based upon instance type. We're going to define a function for that. We're going to define some SageMaker config to finally deploy the model. And then we're going to make a hug and face model with the image URI and the model. And now we're going to run it. Right, so right now it's giving me an error because this has not been finished configuring. So you're going to wait for that. Once we've done running these two scripts, now we're finally going to deploy a model. So we have deployed the model in our SageMaker instance. Now this will take some time, so please be patient. Now the model has been deployed. Now we can do some inferences on it. So first we're going to have some data. We can use the emp instance over here to make predict on the data we've provided. And then we're going to print out the results. And there you guys have it. We have gotten the embeddings for the query or input that we have put over here. Now, this is a slightly different way to deploy the embeddings. If you guys are used to REST API like I am, and to make this embeddings model into a REST API available, you will you have two choices mainly. First is to deploy it through Lambda, which is an AWS-based solution. We can use this one with Lambda to deploy a endpoint, or you guys can use the bottle three package. The bottle three package is something we've imported over here. For example, uh, there are ways to import this bottle three instance into a Python package or any other language, and you can make a REST API over on top of that. But the main idea is to use the bottle three package on different applications to make the batch inferences on. Again, more information about this is available in the guide that I provide over here with different codes and different stuff over here. So make sure you guys are checking that out. And by the way, we're going to talk about the cost of inference. So after all, we've done all the different steps over here. Now we can talk about the cost. So cost for training. So cost per hour takes $1.4, but because we only use around eight minutes, so you, this would be dramatically less. But again, this would depend on the size of the data set. And then for the deployment, we have a cost per hour of $0.4, which is the cheapest that I know of for an embeddings model. And the cost per month is $293 per month. Now, when I said cheapest I know, that's because this is the cheapest open source model that you can deploy like this in the most simplest way possible, less effort and pretty low cost in my opinion. So you'll be seeing around $300 per month, give or take. All right guys, so that is how you deploy an embeddings model and fine tune it using Amazon SageMaker. I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. Have a nice day.